I don't want to hurt his feelings. Oh. Oh, it is so beautiful. I love this coat. It's like an old friend. Well, what do you think? I mean, should I keep it? It's up to you, you know. Of course you should. In fact, I insist. Oh, goody. How do I look? You look like the ravishing woman you are. Oh, there's a note to go with it. Salutations from Sky, I should think. Yeah. Are you going to read it aloud? Dear Raven, I hope you'll accept this in the spirit with which it's sent, the spirit of friendship. I'm also hoping it will help you to forgive the injuries of the past. Above all, I want us to be friends, especially now that you're going to marry my closest friend. No, no, it's just uh, old memories. <laughs> <laughs> you look sensational. <laughs> oh, thank you. It was so sweet of you to allow me to keep this. Well, there's nothing much else you could do. Sky was intent on your keeping it. I know. It just makes me feel so prosperous. Well, let me assure you. I may not be in a position to shower you with luxuries right now, but before our first wedding anniversary, I will have you swathed in sable from head to toe. Oh, really? Sounds like you're getting closer and closer to this big business deal we've been talking about. Closer and closer every day, my dear. It's now almost within my grasp. Ian, you know, I really don't understand why you're being so secretive. After all, you did promise to tell me all the details on our wedding night. Good heavens, did I really? You certainly did. On our wedding night? Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'll be able to think of many more interesting topics of conversation on our wedding night other than my mundane business activities. No, 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 no. You don't get out of it that easy. You know what amazes me? And that is that you're so interested. I'm interested in everything you do. And when you don't tell me about your business affairs, I feel like you're leaving me out. I want to share everything with you. And who knows, I might even be able to help you a little bit. Well, that's very sweet of you. And you're quite right. We should share everything. No secrets. So remember, you asked for it. I'll tell you everything. Every boring detail. Mm -mm. I'm going to be fascinated. As a matter of fact, I can't wait. Well, good. Let's have a nightcap. Uh, no, no, no. I'm very tired. I think maybe I should just go home and get my beauty sleep and uh, get all my energy for all the upcoming events. Oh, come on. Let's just have one. No. All right. This is lovely. Mm -hmm. Especially with you in it. It was generous of Sky, wasn't it? It sure was. You know, I probably should thank him, shouldn't I? Well, that would be the courteous thing to do. Yeah, I should do it now while I'm thinking about it. Why don't you go out and get the car, and then I'll uh, just call him real quick. Yes, why not? to speak to Mr. Whitney, please. Oh, well, uh, hello, Miss Alexander. Uh, listen, I'm very sorry, but uh, Mr. Whitney is not here at the moment. Where did he go? Well, I drove him and uh, Miss Bryson to the airport over an hour ago. You're kidding. He went with Valerie Bryson? Uh, that's right. A uh, cute little blonde, you know? Yeah, I know. Um, where did he go? Oh, well, uh, listen, I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I did overhear him say that he was on his way to New York. New York? With her? Well, that I really couldn't tell you. Gunther, you have to tell me where he's staying. Um, uh, listen, I think I've told you enough already, Miss Alexander. I will give you a hundred dollars if you tell me what hotel he's staying in. You will? Yes, I will. I'll, I'll put a hundred dollars in an envelope and I'll send it to you. Please, please. Tell me. Uh, okay. Thank you, Gunther. Thank you so much. Is it possible? Hello, operator. Uh, I would like to make a long-distance call to London and please charge it to my home telephone number at the Monticello Arms Hotel, room 408. This is Geraldine Saxon.